weather, because today, not a bad day. Maybe not as nice as yesterday, but it's part of the transition. Yeah, Eric, you had mentioned the cooler temperatures. It definitely felt a little bit more like fall today. Getting a little closer to typical mid-October weather today. Still a little bit above average for this time of the year, but not by a very large margin. However, the month is running as the warmest on record to date up through today. Now, tonight we're cooling off in the low 60s, and that cooling trend will continue as we head into the day tomorrow. We're watching the air mass that's across southeastern Canada. It's going to swing around on north-northeasterly breezes, so the warm air to our south won't run back at us until this weekend. We'll be dominated by a much cooler feed out of Canada as we head toward the next couple of days. Taking a look at this next storm system moving in, it's a pretty weak one, and actually the radar looks worse than what's actually happening at the ground. A lot of dry air in place means a lot of this rainfall is also drying up. We'll see some light rain showers on and off overnight tonight. For the most part, it's a tenth of an inch of rain or less. So if you're reseeding the lawn, it's been a very warm stretch. Uh, it's not going to be providing a lot of significant rain. Any morning clouds early tomorrow clear out bright blue skies in the afternoon. Tomorrow is that quintessential mid-October day. Really bright blue, very cool, very crisp, very low humidity, a little breezy too. So tonight, scatter light rain temperatures mainly in the 40s to low 50s outside. Then tomorrow morning, it'll be a cool start to the day. Some clouds early on that actually might make for a really nice sunrise tomorrow, depending on where exactly that cloud line is right at sunrise. But I think we've got potential. And then in the afternoon, we're looking at mainly the low 60s. That is your more typical day. The breeze out of the northeast, and a couple towns may even stay in the upper 50s for tomorrow afternoon. Then tomorrow night, we've got clear skies, calm winds, dry air. It's a good recipe for frost, and especially western Massachusetts, southern Vermont, New Hampshire, northeastern Massachusetts, and perhaps down the 495 corridor, we could have our first freezing temperatures of the year. But certainly, I think frost advisories are going to get issued. So if you're still talking about some plants out in the yard, some potted plants, flowers, you want to keep them going. Tomorrow might, night might be a good time to bring them in or cover them up. We will rebound on Friday into the 60s with bright skies. On Saturday, some cloud cover to deal with. I think we'll still top 70 degrees. Not necessarily a beautiful day, though. There'll be a chance for a couple of rain showers. Then on Sunday, we're going to be in the warm sector of this next approaching storm. If we get enough sun, we're going to be in the 80s on Sunday afternoon. If the clouds are a little bit more persistent, we'll stay in the 70s. It's mild either way. We'll have gusty southwest winds either way, and we'll hopefully uh, refine that sky cover forecast as we get a little bit closer, but a warm second half of the weekend. Now, if you're heading to northern New England, beautiful weather. Next couple, be cool, crisp, lots of sunshine, great weather to check out the foliage, just a slight chance of showers on Saturday. I think we're really peaking here over these next couple of days. So here's your seven-day outlook, and after that front moves through Sunday night, we'll be cooling off on Monday, and then more typical fall weather for Tuesday and Wednesday. David and Lisa, back to you.